Well, hello, everybody. Hope you're all doing good. Um, if you're new around here, my name's Tyler. I go by Zany Online. And honestly, I'm just making this video here because some people really are interested in what Linux distro I'm running, but most of you probably aren't. But I'm using Arch if you care. I don't see why you would, but I'm going to go ahead and just kind of give you the sole purpose of this video real quick and dirty here. Look, it doesn't matter what distro you use, just pick one. Um, they're all pretty good. If it's too difficult to install or doesn't work, cool. Spend an extra 30 seconds. Download, download multiple different distros and spend 20 minutes trying, trying a couple of them out. You know, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, then move on. And uh, if it works, don't worry. It's fine. Just find something you like and stick to it. And then if you're like me and you just like popping around, then stick to that, pop around. Um, so the reason I moved to Arch this time around was because right before I left, if you don't know, I didn't post for a while, about a week. That's because I was out of town helping a friend from Discord, uh, Scott, or Arch Center move. And so um, while right before I was I left out, I had installed Windows because I needed to mess around in Unreal Engine 5. And Unreal Engine 5 is kind of wonky and kind of broken, kind of. It technically worked. It's just it. some things don't work and some of the things I needed didn't work. But anyway, uh, so I needed Unreal Engine 5. So I installed Windows. And after I did messed around in my project and did all that I wanted to do, I was ready to go back over to Debian. But Debian didn't work for some reason. And by didn't work, I didn't mean... Or I don't mean that it didn't install because it did. And it worked fine there. But Xorg was broken for some reason. Have Don't ask me why, because I don't know why. I have no idea. And that was very annoying. And I just didn't, I really, in all honesty, I just didn't want to mess, mess around with Xorg. So I decided to give Arch a try. But the reason I haven't been running Arch in a while, and Arch is typically my home, like that's, typically the Linux distro that I run or at least go back to um, when I'm not checking out something else or, you know, living in open BSD, like whatever. It didn't work the last time for some reason. Like I had issues with PGB keys and that was annoying, but then like mirrors didn't work for some reason. And it, it was just, it was, it was bad the last time I tried to install it. So I was just like, eh, screw it. Um, but this time around works how it normally does and i have to say that now that i've been around the block again with different stuff because i tried out um gnome and fedora um with my vertical ultra wide over here uh, which i've got some stuff open here um, that don't really matter but i was just also going to say like my setup has definitely changed since this gif or GIF, GIF, whatever you want to call it, was taken. And some of what I use has changed, but eh, it, it, it don't matter. still looks good, and it's kind of updated, so it don't really matter. But we have, um, get rid of this, and I have a picture of my ultra-wide somewhere here. I think it's, is it 58? Yeah, yeah. Now I just have to remember how to zoom out in pho. Oh yeah, it's the middle button. Yeah. Oh, that was too much. There we go. Okay. So let me zoom in just a bit. Pho is so weird. I have to get used to using this. But yeah, so here's my ultra wide. And it's actually like really nice on BSPWM. The way BSPWM like utilizes the screen is fantastic. Um, Windows is really great compared to GNOME and KDE. KDE is better than GNOME. GNOME's the worst. When it comes to this ultra wide, so it's a floating window manager in GNOME pretty much or GNOME, whatever you want me to call it. I don't, I don't give a shit. Okay. It's, it's whatever. I don't care how it's spelled. I don't care what's, how you're supposed to pronounce it. That's how I do it. It don't matter. Anyway, um, it's a floating window manager, but you can get like a program to like let you do what I've, I've got here where I've got like, you know, windows taking up different amounts of the screen 
just automatically. I don't have to like resize them manually and all that shit. In Windows, when you drag it up, you can like split the screen into halves and then quarters on this vertical ultra wide, just fine. Gnome by default only lets you just make it full screen. Like I can drag it to the top and make it maximize the entire way down on one window. That's, that's it. I can't, I can't split the screen up by dragging to the side where the LG um, part is over here. I can't, I can't do that, which is very annoying. It's extremely annoying. Um, let me just, let me just have this out open why not at least that way it's bigger oh my gosh i am terrible at using fa when i'm using gnome pretty much as far as i could tell there's different programs online that'll let you like split up your screen the way that bspwm and tiling window managers allow you to do on this screen they have that kind of implementation in gnome but they're the programs that do it are like you have to install the program, then you have to set up key bindings to m move it, like move it around and split up the screen and do it. And I mean, at that point, why not just be using a tiling window manager? Like, you know, you're not really adding in the functionality for a floating window manager where you just drag it over and you can split up the screen real nicely. Um, KDE, I believe, lets me split it in half. I'm pretty sure it lets me do 50, 50, but it doesn't let me do quarters. Uh, but BSPWM is like, I don't know. It's so nice. I really, really like BSPWM and I don't even use any of the, like it, it has like an auto select, like a kind of manual tiling function. I don't even use it. It's just with a very simple setup which again, all of my dot files are in the description. Uh, it just works. It's, it's really good. And I've much more enjoyed using BSPWM than the floating window managers with a screen. And I love it. I mean, I, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be like a vertical ultra wide, like that's so dumb, but I, I have to say like a lot of the times it's really nice. Like when I'm looking at, you know, like, achievements and stuff in steam reading through chat uh, on youtube it's uh, reading articles online it's fantastic it's really great I, I, I just really do enjoy it uh, i mean i really haven't had this ultra ride horizontal in so long i need to try it out uh, i need to flip it back horizontal and see if i like it and having my my other monitor um, both horizontal and see if I like that more, but uh, that just seems like so much screen real estate this way. I, I, I don't think I will, but I guess this video is kind of in short to say that tiling window managers are definitely better for vertical ultra wide, just IMO. Like I'm not saying it's fact, but Personally, I, I think I think they're better. They handle it better. All right, the dogs just went crazy. So I think I'm going to go ahead and finish up this recording. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, if you want to support me and this channel and making videos and making more informative content, then definitely check out the description. We have a discord where you can make recommendations. I mean, you can also do it on YouTube through the comments. That's always much appreciated. And then ch check me out over on discord. If you got one, come say hi. And also there's a Patreon link down there where you can see all these fantastic people over there. Uh, they support the channel. They're fantastic. All these names on the screen. Thank you guys so, so much. It, it really does mean a lot. And I hope Everybody has a great day. And if you're not looking forward to supporting over on Patreon, that's totally fine. Maybe consider hitting the like button and subscribing if you enjoyed the video. And have a fantastic rest of the day. See ya. Go, 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 a lot, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system I don't